بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومن ما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون Can you imagine how much more amazing a book would be if God himself ordered it surely it would be the greatest book ever produced moreover imagine that God answers all the important questions that human beings have about life such as why we are here and what happens to us after we die finally imagine if God ordered this book with you in mind a book that addresses you as an individual wouldn't you want to read such a book The Quran the Holy Quran is exactly that book the word Quran is arabic for recitation or reading indeed one of the many things that make the Quran unique is that it claims to be the literal speech of god the Quran was dictated to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam by god almighty through the angel jibril alaihi salam over 1400 years ago The Quran was not revealed all at once but rather gradually over a period of 23 years during the lifetime of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The Holy Quran is a wonderful book revealed by Allah on many occasions from the time Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prophesied at the age of 40 until his death at the age of 63. This holy book known as Mus'haf can be found in any corner of the world today. It is safe to say that there is no other book in the world that has revealed so many copies. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam went to the cave of Hira at the age of 40 and was engaged in worship, the recitation of the Quran began with the words of Iqra. Man is the subject of the Quran. It narrates the story of man as an integral whole and it describes all the stages of man's journey to his ultimate destination. birth life death resurrection the judgment of his deeds and depending upon the judgment heaven or hell in this temporal and physical world the observation and experience of man is restricted to his birth the trials and tribulations of his life and his death the introduction of the quran was not in the order we see it today The revelation of the Quran was according to the circumstances and the decisions of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at each stage the rest of what was once performed would not be performed next time the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded his writers to write down the part that would appear at that time they will write it down and keep it the holy prophet used to give them special instructions to add this part to this part of this surah moreover At the end of each year the angel Jibril alayhi salam used to recite them to the prophet in the entire recorded order of the revelations in the year of his death the Quran was recited in its entirety twice many of the companions were memorized by the Quran in the order in which they were recorded this shows that the order of the Quran was determined at the time of the revelation of the Quran Later during the time of Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu many companions who had learned by heart the holy Quran were killed in the battle of Yamama at the suggestion of Umar radiyallahu anhu Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu systematically compiled the Quran into a single book under the leadership of Zaid ibn Sabit radiyallahu anhu from this scripture Abu Bakr Siddiq radiyallahu anhu named it Al Mushaf it means placed between two frames he kept it until his death and then umar radiyallahu anhu done it after the death of umar radiyallahu anhu the mushaf was with his daughter hafsa radiyallahu anha the wife of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam 
By the time of Arisman who caliphate, Islam has spread to many distant lands and the number of Muslims had increased. When people of different regions and languages recited the Quran, it was noticed that they were experiencing slight differences in reading. Thus, he entrusted a group of companions to take many copies of the Mus'haf from Hafsa The leader of this group was Zayd ibn Thabit himself. After the copies were taken, the Mus'haf returned to Hafsa and the copies were sent to the major centers in different parts of the world. The Caliph further declared that recitation of the Quran should be in accordance with the order of the particular Mus'hafs. The Mus'hafs in all parts of the world are direct copies of these Mus'hafs sent to many countries during the time of Uthman This is why the Mus'hafs are called Uthmani Mus'hafs. The Quran is both recited orally and written down in book form. The true power of the Quran remains in the oral recitation as it is meant to be read aloud and melodiously. But still the verses were written down on available materials as an aid to memorizing and guarding it. And these were collected and ordered in book form both privately and at a later stage institutionally. The Quran was not meant to tell a chronological story and thus the Quran should not be viewed as a sequential narrative like the book of Genesis and it is about 600 pages in length. When the Arabs first heard the Quran, they were awestruck by its eloquence and listened in amazement. Never before in their life had they heard such a stunning and stately sermon. Their instincts convinced them that such a noble and impressive discourse could only be a divine diction, not a human creation. It was far more sublime and solemn than all their literature put together. The Quran proclaimed that it was not a man-made composition and challenged its audience to present any composition that matches its style and elegance. It declared that humans would fail to produce a single composition to match its caliber even if they joined hands and converged and coordinated their efforts. It threw the gauntlet. <laughs> And if you are in doubt about what we have sent down upon our slave Muhammad, then produce a surah the like thereof and call upon your witnesses other than Allah, if you should be truthful. Quran chapter number 2 and verse number 23. The export composers of Arabia heard the dare but could not come up with an answer. Compared to the Quran, their literary endeavors appeared clumsy and childish. They felt like they were inexperienced novices. The distinguished and prolific poets seemed immature. The enthusiastic orators found themselves at a loss for words. The impact of the Quran on the world is not just historical. What must be noted is that although the Quran was revealed in 7th century Arabia, its message is meant for the whole of mankind. In fact, there are over 1.5 billion Muslims in the world today because of the Quran. Just to give you an example, a practical demonstration of just how many Muslims there are in the world. At any given moment, on any day, someone, somewhere is praising God by reciting the Quran in their prayers. You must be wondering to yourself, what is it about the Quran that has made such an imprint on the hearts of over a billion Muslims? Curse is what is holy Quran. القرآن هو الكلام المنزل على سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم المعجز بصورة من Thank you